Just into our newsroom, Las Cruces City Council reaching a vote on whether or not to remove the 300-foot buffer between cannabis shops and residential homes. Thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Morgan. Natasia has the day off. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap has been at council all day and joins us live from Las Cruces with their decision. Shelby. Well, Andy, the Las Cruces City Council voting against removing that 300-foot buffer between cannabis shops and residential areas. Now, this item on today's agenda did not include the distance between schools and cannabis shops and did not have to do with outdoor consumption. Now, it only focused on the distance between those shops and residential areas. Now, the community development director is saying that all of the applications from cannabis shops that have asked for special use permits are all going into existing structures and that there have been no permits submitted for a new facility, and he says many of the existing structures are near residential zones. Now, City Council hearing from numerous community members on the topic, including cannabis companies. There are other areas besides next door and abutting up to residential homes, and I include uh, apartment buildings in that. They, they should not be that close either, but they should not be located so close in proximity to existing homes. Uh, I think this decision um, slows us down. Um, and has us reconsidering whether or not those are good locations for stores or not. Um, and it's unfortunate because it's in North Main or Solano, um, good, good commercial neighborhoods. Now, that was a local cannabis company you just heard from, High Horse Cannabis. Now, they tell us they will now have to get special permits, which will cost them more money if they plan to open locations near residential areas. Now, the Las Cruces mayor, Mayor Ken Miyagashima, voting against removing that buffer, but he also brought up a different topic. He says he now wants the Las Cruces City Council to vote on adding a buffer between residential areas and establishments that sell alcohol. Reporting live from Las Cruces, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.